All right, everybody, we're back at you once again, Mr. Ray Mercer. You know, we're here at the Action Star Hall of Fame. You know, boxing legend, you was giving us an intro, sir, but they was on the mic. Can you continue with your little intro for the, for the audience here? Oh, yes. Uh, Mercer's Ray Mercer here, uh, 1988 Olympic gold medalist and uh, 91 uh, WBO world champion. And uh, I was uh, in, in 2009, I was recognized as upset of the year by knocking out Tim Sylvia. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have UCW Entertainment. Now, we have in this room where I know of nowhere else in the world that they have a symbol as many. So one of the things I wanted to ask you, Mr. Mercer, we um do a whole, we do a program called Stronger Than Drugs. And one also, thing needless to say. So one of the things I wanted to ask you, we have a program called Stronger Than Drugs, and I created the program because I was going through some stuff a couple of years ago, probably like 20, 23 years ago, and I realized that a lot of sports and a lot of, even martial arts, we talk about trying to help kids avoid that negative cycle, but a lot of times people don't go directly to them community. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have a table. How, how, how valuable do you believe going back to those communities offering programs like that are to save our youth? Again, ladies and gentlemen, we have a table here. So as I was saying, Mr. Mercer, when we talk about programs in the inner city to truly help our, our, our kids, we, we see a lot of things going on. We see the violence, we see the gunplay, we see the drugs. We always keep on talking about we got to do something, but we don't see many people really going there to the root of the problem to do something. How important is it, would you say, for people to do that and have programs like that? I think it's, I think it's, um, it's very important to you know, for the community and, and, and basically for the world, to, for people like us to get involved and community, I mean, uh, community services like this, you know, to keep our kids out of trouble and to show them that there's, you know, there's something else out there, you know, besides drugs and violence and, you know, getting pregnant and other things. It's, it's, it's other sports out there, other things that you can do to learn and to, to stay out of trouble, man. That's what we're all about, man. We want to just keep our kids out of trouble, keep them occupied, with, keep their minds working with, you know, with mixed martial arts and boxing and, and uh, you know, I think it's a great program. And I think whoever came up with it is just, you know, is, is a great person, man. It really cares about people. Do, do you think that we live in, a, in an age now where you got to be real with the kids? You can't, like at one time, you could come with a scientific, con scientific concept of why you need not to do this, why you need not to do this. But now kids want the truth. They want a guy that then probably went through a struggle and came in, or a woman that went through a struggle and said, look, I'm telling you not to do this because it happened to me. So I'm not trying to get you to go down that path. I mean, because kids are just too intelligent now. You can't just like push it under the rug and think that you can come back and tell them, you know, when they get older and they're ready. You got to find a way to tell them right now because of the violence and the things. It's just, I mean, would you agree? Is, is it about keeping real? I mean, being whole. I, I think I think that you have to be real. I think, you know, nowadays times have changed since, since you know back in the day where you can try to hide things from kids. Now kids now are too smart. They have the internet. They have too many. They have too many things that they can uh, log on to and, and find out, you know, the truth. So it's best off to come out and tell the kids the truth. That way they'll know what they're dealing with and, and they'll know which way to go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, 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 and as we as we speak on that, that's why we created this thing called Point MMA, which is, we call it Point MMA, are you technically ready? Because I believe, you know, and I come from the hood and I can, and I'm pretty sure that those obstacles, boxing, save you from going over that edge too. And I believe the one thing that saved people like yourself and me and so many others was that somebody didn't just build up our hands, they built up our, our spirit, right. our soul, our minds. So even though when I look and I see MMA and I see the tattoos and I see the, the beat down, I see all this stuff, I figure out how can we do something safer and more wholesome to allow a kid to grow safely into this? And if they want to take it to the next level, you can. But let's save your mind and your body at least so you can have that emotional experience. I mean, what, what would you say about a program I, like that? I, I, would, I would say it's, I think it's a great program. Uh, you know, it instills in, in the kids and, and, and young people uh, that there's other things out there, man, other than drugs, like I said, other than the, the bad stuff, man. And, and to open your mind to something else, something new, is always a blessing, man. And, and, and it can take you far. I mean, like when I, uh, you know, I didn't know I was going to go as far in boxing, you know, as I did, but Somebody introduced it to me, and I loved it, and, you know, it opened up so many doors for me, man, and I just took advantage. Yeah, I'm just yeah, hoping that this program yeah. can do, 
you know, for other kids, uh, you know, like this box has done for me. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we hope. And I mean, and I'm glad. It's an honor that you be sitting here talking to you, because that's once again, you know, you we never know wherever we at and whatever we're struggling with. One day you're sitting here talking to a great man like you, been on TV, all this stuff, and even that, you know, to talk to you and see if maybe some kind of way we can get you involved in the program. I just think when we unite and we work together. We can do so much more and change that next generation. Cause and, and it's so true. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's what we're doing. We're going to come together, man. We're going to make this thing work. Yeah. So y'all get ready. Yes, sir. Just give them something to contact your website, telephone numbers. What we got? Uh, we got uh, we got, <laughs> we got my phone number, which is my home phone, which I rarely give it out, but I'm going to give it to you guys because uh, this, this program, is, I think, is going to be an excellent thing, and I want to be a part of it. But uh, in order to get a hold of me, you have to dial 910, which is the area code. 822-2348. Um, and that way you can call and you can talk to me directly. Mr. Ray Mercy, people. Hold it down. Fool y'all. We out. Remember, fighting up for me, your attitude. See you later. Some other stuff over there just okay. so you can be more familiar with what we're doing. Okay. Okay? All I right. thank you so much, sir. No problem, man. <laughs> and I'm going to bring my hey, wife over here to meet you, too. Yeah, but that, that. That's why I really want you to. I mean, that's we can have.